Hello guys, welcome to the new video. I hope you guys are doing well. Today we will be creating a detailed animated displacement effect using Blender 4.1's geometry nodes. Let's dive right in. Start by deleting everything and adding a plane. Adjust the plane size to the ratio of 1920 to 1080. In my case, I am using this value. You can use a value according to your liking. Now add some loop cuts to divide the plane into small cubes. Head to the geometry nodes panel and create a new node setup. Grab a set position node and place it. This node will help displace the plane's vertices. Get an image texture. Choose your desired video clip and align it perfectly with the plane. I'm using this eye blinking video. UV unwrap your plane. Align the UV with the image and add a color ramp to convert the image into a black and white data. Next, add a subdivide node and increase its value being cautious with your PC's configurations. To displace the plane, use a position node and a vector math node. Add the position node with the black and white data. For z-axis displacement only, insert a combine xyz node between the color ramp and the vector math node. Connect the noodle to the z-axis. Play your animation to see the plane displacing accordingly. To control the displacement amount, add a math node set to multiply. This value controls your displacement. For additional points in the displaced area, introduce a mesh to points node after the set position node. Use this black and white data to set the radius of the points. Connecting the color ramp outward to the point's radius socket. Apply a map range node for a custom difference in the point radius. As the point size might be too large, use a math node set to divide to scale everything down. Now, for connecting lines between the points, add a join geometry node. Attach a mesh to curve node after the set position node and use a curve to mesh node for the geometry addition. To give thickness to the connecting lines, add a curve circle node and connect it to the profile curve. Adjust the thickness to your liking. And there you have it. This is how you achieve the desired effect. Set up a camera for awesome renders. And don't forget to tag me on Instagram. If you want an even more detailed walkthrough, check out my full stream on this topic. Thanks for watching.